In this lesson, you will learn how Cypher is used to specify patterns in the graph and how to retrieve nodes from the graph. Many graph data models start with a whiteboard drawing, as we see here. In Cypher, nodes are represented in parentheses. Each of these bubbles in the graph represent a node. Labels are used to group nodes that have the same general set of properties. In Cypher, we use the colon followed by the label to specify the label for a node. In our sample graph, person nodes represent people, and movie nodes represent movies. Relationships connect nodes in the graph and are used to define the structure of the graph. In Cypher, we use two dashes or two dashes with an arrow to represent a relationship between two nodes. A relationship, when created in the graph, must have a direction and a type. In Cypher, we specify the relationship with the square brackets with the colon, relationship type. Here we see the acted in and directed relationship types. Both nodes and relationships can contain properties. The properties are typically used to represent the data in the graph. When you create a node, you can specify a property for that specific node. In many cases, you define a particular property that will be used to uniquely identify a node with a specific label. Properties are specified with braces and a set of property key value pairs. In this example, one person node has a name property of Tom Hanks, and one movie node has a title property of Cloud Atlas. You can specify a pattern in the graph. Here is a pattern that we could use to retrieve the person nodes of a person named Tom Hanks who acted in the movie Cloud Atlas. Completing the cipher code, we use the match clause to retrieve the data in the graph, and we use the return clause to return a person node P and a movie node M. What the query processor does is first find the person node that satisfies the criteria, then it traverses the acted in relationships from the Tom Hanks node and filters the movie nodes found to retrieve the Cloud Atlas movie node. The role of the match clause is to find the pattern in the graph where it anchors the query on a particular node or set of nodes. Let's take a look at node retrieval in action. Here is a simple node retrieval example. We want to retrieve all person nodes from the graph. A match clause must return something, so we return all nodes retrieved. We use the p variable to hold the nodes retrieved. If we want to filter what person nodes to retrieve and return, we can specify a property value. In Neo4j browser, we can view the node returned as a graph, or we can view the properties of the node in table view. You may want to return specific properties. You can use the p variable to specify which property to return. Another way that you can filter the same query is with the where filter. Here is the same query. The advantage of using a where filter is that you can provide logical expressions to make your query more flexible. For example, here we want to retrieve all person nodes that represent either Tom Hanks or Rita Wilson, and we return their values. In the next challenge, you will have an opportunity to try retrieving nodes from the movies graph. This concludes our look at how Cypher is used to specify patterns in the graph and how to retrieve nodes from the graph.